Now your next time I come to the stage, give a big round of applause for Luke Capasso. Yeah. All right, Wileys. What's happening? Oh, good, a lot of juice. I like that. A lot of fire left in here. <laughs> yes. Well, since you guys are so fired up, I might just do uh, some kind of low-key, like, uh, mass shooting material, if that's all right. <laughs> just feel pretty good? Feel pretty good about that? In light of recent events, uh, the thing you gotta ask yourself, am, uh, am I doing new material, or do I gotta rotate this in about every two weeks? That's, uh... <laughs> That's a joke about the frequency at which we have mass shootings. <laughs> uh, I lived in uh, England for like six years before I came here, and they don't—I really, mean, they don't have guns in that country. I don't know if they're scared of freedom. I don't know what the story is. I'm not, and I'm not saying—I'm not saying not having guns is a cure because they have a lot of stabbings. They do have some stabbings, which is way more personal, I think. Like, like hello. And then they, you gotta pull it out and you're gonna get a blood spray coming back at you. But yeah, it's cool, instead of drive-bys, they put the knife in their teeth and then they'd slide down a rope. It's a weird place, it's a crazy place. But living over there, whenever some shit happened, I was always like the go-to, like I work for the State Department. They're like, what is with your country? It's like, I don't know, motherfucker, why you keep asking me, man? I don't know. Freedom isn't free, motherfucker. Apparently it'll cost you a bunch of kids every now and then. I don't know, I don't know how it works. They're just, this is how it's been explained to me. If you wanna raise your kid a pussy, you can take it to Canada. That's how we do business. It's free trade agreement, you just take them pussies up north. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm a total hypocrite on this subject. I know I am too, cause uh, like I love guns, like they're fucking fun. Like I'm saying it's, I get it. I get the shit, like me and my cousin, a couple weeks ago, we shot up an old refrigerator with an AR-15. If you get the chance to do that shit, I get it. Like I'm saying, it's fun. Like I say, I understand why it's illegal to kill hookers, but that shit is still fun. Don't get me, woo! Like, it being illegal almost makes that shit more fun, you know what I mean? I don't kill hookers. Like, I do beat the shit out of them, though, but I pay for it. I'm paying for it. She, I'm a regular, she knows. So why she limbers up first, you know, she's getting into some shit. Uh, <laughs> but she always pissed me off. Whenever this thing happens, there's always like the same bullshit arguments. I don't give a fuck, you're for it or against it, but these are two bullshit arguments. One is like, we can't talk about it now in the wake of a tragedy. I was like, well, conveniently, the wake of the tragedy is getting closer and close together, so we can never. And then the other part I always get mad about is like, why is it always a bigger deal when kids get killed? Yeah, I know what I just said. I thought it, and then I said it out loud. Yeah, I know exactly what I said. All right, hear me out, right? You guys are all older than you've ever been right now. Like, what? Pow, you feel that? Wait for it. Boom, there it is. Are you the most worthless you've ever been at any given time in your life? Like an old Chevette, like you're just rapidly depreciating in value? All I'm trying to say is have the conversation about guns or don't. Don't bring your age discrimination into this shit. Like, why is this motherfucker worth more than me? Just because he was born later. <laughs> all right, here, I'm trying to say is all life is precious is the point I'm trying to make. Like, I don't think it's funny when anybody gets killed. Unless, or shot, or, unless it's like a big fat guy. Like, with like, bib overalls and no shirt. <laughs> trying to steal some dude's DVD. Trying to steal some dude's pie, like off like a windowsill. Like he's going it's like, God damn it, Earl. I was supposed to bake that fucking pie. And he's like, it's all running, all like Yogi Bear, fat guy running. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Nothing. He's like, I fucking poof, and he shoots him. He's like, ah, oh, and his face hits the pie. <laughs> so, <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> Fuck Earl, that pie stealing motherfucker. I don't feel bad for him. Get your own pie. <laughs> I'm just saying, we overjuice the youth, man. Like, what's the deal? Like, we got some sliding scale of how much value different life gets like you never hear them like it's terrible they've been targeting groups of 40 year old men like nobody gives a fuck right i'm saying it's like we give so much to it like it's different with different culture that's our western culture like native american culture some of them you got more valuable as you got older because you get all this life experience and shit they'd see a baby like this motherfucker can't walk or talk don't know shit fuck that guy but i'm saying like as a as a single man i notice i get way hotter women in their 30s than I do women in their 20s. Why? Because these women perceive their value to be less than. I don't. 
A hot woman's a hot woman from 80. Like, I'm saying, let me tell you something. I've been fucking the hottest 85-year-old women you will ever see. <laughs> fucking, I'm a fucking, whoa. Let me tell you something. I see old chicken in the fridge. I don't throw that shit out. I make soup out of that shit. <laughs> and I ate a lot of soup. And just so we know what we're talking about, I'm talking about fucking old women. Just in case anyone is confused, the soup metaphor is old women. I was just like, I was like, I'm not saying it's good. I got a little girl at home, and it's something that, like, I love that girl. Like, I'm not saying she's better than anybody else, but I'm saying I like her. I like her a lot. But sometimes I walk in this little girl to school, right? And then I dig her to school, and there's a little fence there, and I watch them. They're trying to jump rope, and there's a little crusty faced dickhead kid. Every fucking, I see him, like, taking the rope and, like, hitting him with it. And I went over to talk to his dad, and he's still, like, some grizzled up dick, too. Like, and he's walking this big dog. Dog's a dick. And I was like, saying, that kid's a dick. His dad's a dick. Granddad's probably a dick all the way back to caveman times and there's like 12 motherfuckers sitting around a fire and one of them was just a straight up cock and people kept fucking that guy and then throughout history there I'm saying is fuck that kid like I say like she's got one teacher that goes to India on her summer break she goes to India and pull kids out of the mud or out of buckets of paint or <laughs> nice shit I don't know she's doing nice like some busted in that school like I wouldn't give a fuck about that dickhead kid I want to see that woman get kicked I'm just saying Get some brick. <laughs> All right, hear me out, right? Okay. <laughs> like, let's say you had a time machine, right? And you could only go back to when Hitler was a baby and you had 15 seconds. Would you kill baby Hitler? Yeah. Right. I mean, I know it's a shit time machine and a hack premise for a joke. <laughs> However, would you kill that motherfucker? It'd be like little SS pajamas on and little. <laughs> get you in the mood, you know what I mean? Would you like to hold unt baby? Yes, for all I I would. And then she, thank you. Then right on the countertop. She's like, what did you do to my baby? Like, ma'am, your baby is Hitler. It's like I named him. I mean, like Hitler, Hitler. You wouldn't even believe me. You could not even imagine how fucked up your kid is. Just wait till I quantum leap out of here. <laughs> but you can't, sir. Much you might want to. You can't kill little baby Hitler. I mean, I get it, but I mean, you gotta think about it. time would be all fucked up. Imagine now, most of us just disappear. No cell phones, airplanes would be like, ee. like, you know, like technology would be fucked up. Shit would be totally different. There'd be way more Jews. Like, there'd be like millions of more Jews. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's how shit would be different. All of a sudden, be like, whoa, where did all these Jews come from? Yeah. <laughs> And that mustache might still be in style, you know what I'm saying? That's how powerful a man Hitler was. He killed an entire style of mustache and millions and millions of Jews. Which is worse? Probably the Jew thing, but I don't want to tell you guys what to think. But anyway, uh, thank you guys very much. You guys have a nice night.